What's up guys? This episode we're talking about A-B testing in your Rails app. So anytime that you built something and you finally got it all working, you want to actually optimize your business. So you might have built the first version, but it may not have been the best one. And so you might have been GitHub here, for example, and said, well, we want people to download our code here. And so we should color this um, as something highlighted. So it draws your attention to that button. And so what they might have done is said, well, we don't know if green is the best color. We don't know if it's blue or red or orange or whatever. And so they could create an A-B test to test and see which button color converts to the most number of people downloading the source code from their repository. And so this is something that you see all over the place, Facebook, Google, Amazon, all of those huge companies are constantly doing A-B testing, trying to figure out what is the best wording, what is the best color scheme, what's the best layout, how do we onboard users in the most efficient way. They're testing all of this stuff all the time. Now, A-B testing can be a little bit tricky because you have to actually pay attention to the statistics for these. You wanna make sure that the results you're getting actually are correct or accurate. And you wanna make sure that you're not skewing your results by having too many tests running at once that might interfere with each other and cause invalid results to be uh, learned from this stuff. So the split gem is here to help you add A-B tests to your Rails application really easily. And you can go change anything in your application that you might like. So it doesn't matter if it's just in the views or in your controllers or however you might want to do this. It provides some functions that are available anywhere and you'll be able to turn on and off tests and check their data and the results and then decide which one you want to use at the end of that test. So let's dive into building out an A-B test in our Rails application using Split.